For an assignment I did at university over a year ago, I took a photo of people's things. I sent out a message to people I knew all around Melbourne, and I asked them if they would help me. I was lucky, and people said yes. I asked them to bring something that mattered to them. Any object that I could photograph that meant something. Something that might have helped them through a bad time, or helped them think in a new way. An object that became a part of who they were. These are the objects, and the stories they told me about them. This is where the bulk, or the lack, of all our ideas lie. These are just my everyday shoes. They go with me everywhere. It was my mum's, and I'd steal it, and it would smell like her. My brother and me used to run around the house and look for silk. He was obsessed. So, it reminds me of my mum, my brother, and my family. I learned how to juggle at school instead of sport. I was that kind of kid. I taught my dad how to juggle. These are the CDs that got me back into K-pop. In particular, with Shiny, they've always been my favourite group. I just like their dynamic. This will always make me feel safe. Music has always been a big part of my life. I've always loved music, but the first time I ever associated music with fun was when I joined a band with a couple of my friends in Year 11. And we played Billy Joel's Vienna, a standard of ours. I played a solo on this melodica. My dad bought these in New York. First I mentioned them to him as more of a joke, or wishful thinking. But he came back with them. It was nice. This was a gift from an almost brother. We don't see each other much, and we don't talk as often as I'd like, but whenever I write with this, I feel like he's here. I find myself thinking about these photos, this series. A lot recently. I mean, all I have right now are the things around me. All the books that I've read and all the books I still need to read. The piles of screenplays I need to read for future development and the notebooks filled and not filled. The big red chair that isn't sat in as much as it should be. The room that keeps being rearranged and retidied instead of actually sitting at my desk and doing work. And I keep coming back to these photos. They remind me that the things that we love are tied to the people that we love. To our friends and our family. To our dreams. That's special. That's worth something.